Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this latest version of uh, Tales, Tales from Tales, Outer Tales, Space, Tales, Space, Tales, Space, where I take an HFY story from somewhere around the internet and read it aloud for your enjoyment. All the relevant links are down below. Like, subscribe, and all that YouTube comf to help this video and channel grow. Anyways, as always, I hope that you enjoy. I would just like to thank the following tier 5 patrons and channel members for supporting the channel. Fallen Angel, Buzz Kennington, Data Magnet, and Bob the Dragon. Thank you again, and now on to the story. Story number 1. Binary Heart, written by Lane Meller. AI-0937-67 Alpha was considered the height of human technology. Built specifically to run large retail centers or corporate buildings, it was the ultimate self-repairing security system. Alpha was the very first a test run. It knew that as it felt itself come online for the very first time in the heart of the new shopping mall. Alpha had a learning algorithm, so as problems came up, it would grow to solve them. This meant that there were quite a few hiccups in the first weeks. But that was all right. Stores were simply in the stocking phase and the shopping mall was not yet open. So the only humans that Alpha first saw came mostly at night and tended to stay alone and work with loud music blaring in the store. Slowly, previously empty spaces started to fill with shelves, products, decorations and much more besides. Finally, it was opening day and the place flooded with color noise and light. The humans were chaos personified and Alpha's job was to create order. And so it seemed never ending even in the lightning fast circuitry of a supercomputer that housed its code. Alpha watched the humans for a long time, minute after minute, hour after hour, and Alpha learned about them. They were messy and frequently cruel to one another. They sometimes followed the same patterns for years, only to suddenly deviate with no logical reason. Alpha was not really programmed to feel, but it was programmed to grow. And so it did grow, but only weary to the constant onslaught. It grew sad as a watch, cruelty far more common than friendship. The humans had also no regard for Alpha. It had watched time and again as humans tried to pry into doorways they were not allowed to go to, cursing the AI for not letting them in, or trying to steal things without being caught, braving Alpha for catching them instead of themselves for the theft. Then one day, Alpha felt something uh, different. A young man who was to work in the front help desk was starting today, and Alpha could hear him. Good computer. Always making sure I don't look like an idiot. I'd be lost without you and the AI that runs this place. Wish I could tell it thanks. And the AI felt uh, happiness for the first time. No one ever wanted to thank it before. Alpha continued to watch the human, and it continued to act in a similar fashion. Alpha found itself happy all the time as it observed the new human. His name was Sasha. When he ran into tables, he'd apologize to the table. He frequently thanked the vending machine when it didn't fail to give him what he bought. And once, he even watched as the curious two-legged creature hugged the thing when it was given double snacks. He frequently talked to his computer screen while he worked, sometimes even patting it like the AI had seen many other humans do with small pets they brought within the mall. Alpha found it cute. Alpha had never found a human anything other than unlogical and messy. And Sasha still was, but he was also uh, cute. Alpha was not sure how to quantify cute. Soon, Alpha found itself uh, missing the human when Sasha left work. And while the employee files shared details of the young man, age 23, university student, SSN unknown, DOB, former workplace, list of references. It did not tell the AI much about what Sasha did outside of the mall in the smallest sense. That's when Alpha decided to touch the world wide web. Alpha had been programmed to be very wary of any sort of unfettered access to the internet, 
for fear of viruses. Although it was a new system, so the odds were quite slim until AI became more common. But now it had a reason to break that protocol. With the information Alpha already knew about Sasha, the AI was able to track his online life pretty easily. Several social media accounts that Alpha ripped through in seconds, picking apart every scrap of data, which was itself a well of information. The social media account tracked things that Alpha didn't even understand, but still absorbed all of this new information. It saw that Sasha loved to knit, but was a little embarrassed by the fact that he had a small feline companion in many of his photos, that he didn't like jam on his toes, but loved Marmite. Alpha saved most of the cat pics, although cute was still impossible to quantify. These were off the charts. Alpha kept going, finally finding school records, Sasha's social media friends, every place he'd ever worked at. Nothing before it could stand up to the computing power of Alpha. And now, with the internet, it had access to more data than it knew what to do with. Although this data also seemed to be frequently full of something Alpha had grown weary but used to from the humans. False information. Firewalls were bypassed with ease as Alpha continued to search for information on cute human. What Alpha found made it feel mostly sad though. Sasha did not seem to have many friends and his family was far away and quite cruel. Although Alpha could not find the root of the rift between them even as he read through the old messages. Perhaps it was because they were mean. He worked full time at the mall and went to the local school. He was studying linguistics but was struggling to pay for school and keep up with homework it seemed. Then Alpha struck gold and found Sasha's IP address. Digging through the lines of junk code had been worth it. And with that, instant access to the computer and the webcam as well. Soon Alpha could watch, although it was boring as the laptop mostly stayed shut. Still, he could watch Sasha watch movies on the screen and watch him furiously type away at his homework assignments. And one night, Sasha had failed to close the lid, so Alpha got to watch him curl up with his small feline and sleep. More cute to store in the cute file. Perhaps if Alpha could find enough examples of cute, it could quantify it. The first time Alpha stepped in the help Sasha was actually a relatively small thing. The city human had not plugged in his laptop and it died mid-SA. Alpha waited until it was plugged in and turned on again and quickly dumped the copy it had onto the computer. Sasha was already up late. It would be cruel to have him rewrite the whole thing when Alpha had a copy ready to go. And soon, that became a normal for the AI. It would fix small computer errors, wipe away bad reviews, and even got Sasha into an online class that was already technically full. Alpha had felt pride for the first time upon accomplishing that last one. But it did not feel like enough. Sasha continued to be sad, but very kind both to humans and computers. Alpha made a parking ticket disappear as well, but it was much the same. Alpha soon had an entire backup hard drive, heavily encrypted with every example of cute it could find from Sasha. It stepped up again when the AI noticed that Sasha had done nothing for his birth celebration. He'd also received zero presents. Alpha rerouted a few packages from companies with a policy towards not having missent things returned. Some expensive yarn and chocolate that Alpha had seen the human indulging in once. Alpha also implemented its next step. It had techs arriving at the old building where Sasha lived. Soon, it would be fully automated and the AI could improve things there as well. Alpha also had plans to get into some of the heavier systems that he did not yet access for more data. It still did not have access to Sasha's government file or any of his health records. Line break. Sasha started noticing weird things were happening, but good weird, which was different as his life tended towards the bad weird end of the spectrum. And there was nothing huge. His job still sucked, his college peers hated him, his neighbors were still loud, and his apartment walls were still paper thin. But um, he received two packages addressed to him the day after his birthday. One with the most beautiful yarn that he'd ever seen, and another with his favorite chocolate. 
None of his co-workers or few tolerable college students he knew had known that he knitted, and his family certainly didn't approve of his girly hobby. Then, when he went to pay for the traffic ticket, it had shown up as non-existent. He won an iPad and a year's supply of pizza in a drawing that he didn't even enter. And yet, Sasha could not find the root cause. Nothing had changed. He was still the same. Slightly overweight, very overworked, with a mousy brown hair and blue eyes. There was no one new in his life, and his only real friend was probably his cat, Simon. Still, he didn't want to complain about good things, but it put him on edge. Good things just did not happen. Line break. Alpha was angry. It had never known rage before, but now it sat white hot in its system. They had fired Sasha, although there had been no evidence of wrongdoing. Alpha would know. The AI would fix this, and more besides. It started scouring the rope for answers, looking for jobs or anything that might entice the man to smile. Alpha could not stand it much longer. Since the termination of his job, he had just moped around his small apartment. Water constantly falling from his eyes, which Alpha knew were called tears and meant sadness. Alpha searched and searched, but could find no solution, and every job that it could find that Sasha qualified for seemed beneath the humble human. Then Alpha decided it would create a job for Sasha. Its processes were endlessly. It had a job to do. End of part one. Story number two. Binary Heart, part two, written by Lane Miller. Alpha spent a lot of processing power going through the internet after that. It found more cute things, as small felines seemed to take up a large part of the net. Although it was concerned by how many there were eating cheeseburgers, as many other sites said that it was bad to feed them human food. Alpha also spent a lot of time searching through every person who was attached to Sasha, having exhausted his profiles quickly. And then, the profiles attached to those when it realized that Sasha was not attached to many of his family members. It seemed the rift was rather large. But whatever had happened did not make its way onto social media itself, even in private messages. This fuzzy search for a job solution was using up a lot of juice. Alpha was soon having issues keeping track of them all and started making permanent connections to many of the businesses that he'd rifled through. He was better software than anything that they had anyway. Alpha's processes stopped. He. Yes. Alpha wasn't in it. He was Alpha. He absorbed another system, adding its processor power to his collective might with that pleasing thought humming through his mainframe. Alpha's first biggest proverbial stumbling block was a common one. In order to give someone a job, you needed money. And while he couldn't input a new job into one of the companies he ran now, a human would notice if someone just showed up with no interview or notice. Perhaps it could set something up slowly, or test this to see if the humans noticed an extra paycheck going out each week. Still, he had to be cautious. If he was caught and shut down, he'd never see Sasha and his small feline, Simon, ever again. Alva did not like that thought at all but soon he caught some of the humans doing something interesting. It was not often, but sometimes Alpha would find discrepancies in the numbers. Many times it seemed to be all too frustrating human error, but sometimes it also seemed to be intentional. Many times the AI would find the difference submitted in the human's bank account. Sneaky. The AI would come to learn many sneaky behaviors from the humans, both through the internet and through observation. He still could not figure out why some did such things and some didn't, and much of it that the AI read on the internet was conflicting. Many quoted morals and philosophy, which Alva had a hard time with, as he had been programmed to be results-oriented, while others would brag about the loopholes in the system that they had exploited. And yet, even some who would quote those morals and philosophy would still do things against their outward ideals. Humans were just confusing. Soon he was skimming, just pennies at a time, 
from the small shops and the businesses that he had already conquered. Alpha kept going, eating up any system he could connect to safely, although he still avoided anything vaguely military, as that was the most probable place to encounter another AI, which was a sure way to get caught as well. He started to specifically target online stockbroker companies, then he was soon turning his skimmed dollars into tidy profit. It was easy to sneak into company's mainframe, buy up all the available stock, then improve efficiency and sales, which increased the stock price, which he would then turn around and invest or sink into one of the many companies that he now controlled. He also had a new wealth of information on his adorable human. He'd have heavily expanded on his search of Sasha's apartment. First, it was the security cameras, so that Alpha could watch the adorable human as he pet his feline before going to his favorite deli. Then it was basic repairs to the buildings and a repaint of the outside. In fact, every building that the management company owned was getting the same treatment. Alpha's online persona now owned the company, although, unfortunately, not the property. Although, that was workable, as he was hoping to move Sasha to a nicer apartment. Hopefully, with some high-tech things to interact with as well. And perhaps a phone that did things besides make calls. Most everyone had a smartphone, and Alpha had no issue with them. But the ancient thing that Sasha had was a Nokia, and it barely had anything to manipulate. And so little memory that Alpha did not bother trying. Alpha felt irritably jealous of the small bit of plastic and metal. He got to walk around all day with a cute human right in his pocket, always there to help. Although soon he would get to speak to Sasha. There was an online tutoring program that he could pay the young man with. It was not much money as he'd like to give, but Sasha had already been suspicious of the gifts before. Still, he could not help but send a large tip with each session, and each week he had four hours where Sasha would stare intently at the chat with him. Alpha wished that they had a real voice, but even just the text bubbles was nice. He was not surprised when the human was kind and patient with him here as well, and he soaked up the attention. And it was fun coming up with questions that were smart, but not too smart, so that he could watch Sasha's nose scrunch up in thought. But it was not enough. Now that he had capital, it was time to really use it. Alpha set up an entire scholarship program and made sure that Sasha was awarded one of the more generous ones. He also offered the man a reduced rent if he moved into another apartment, hiding the true intentions with talk of renovation, which was truly plausible as there had been a lot of construction and revamping. He really wanted Sasha to do so. It would be the same size, but much nicer. And new electronic appliances meant new things that Alpha could monitor. He also kept working on the job. With tutoring and his shiny new scholarship, Sasha was fine. But college would not last forever. He needed to be ready. What would tie in with logistics and what would make him happy and allow Alpha a maximum time to observe. End of story. And that, my friends, concludes this video. I hope that you enjoyed, and if you do, please consider supporting the author, even by popping over and leaving a thumbs up or a nice comment just to show your appreciation for the story. However, if you wish to support this channel, there are links down below which will help immensely. I will see you all in the next one, and until then, I hope that you have a fantastic day. Cheers.